Hello everybody, in this video I will be showing you about Kaiser Franz Joseph I, was he a good leader or a horrible leader? He was also the last Austrian-Hungarian Empire. So the criteria is, was he a good or a bad leader? A good leader cares about their people, no matter what. They need to listen to the people's opinion, because that is the first rule on being a good leader. If he doesn't least listen to people's opinion, then he isn't destined to be a good leader. A good leader is not like Tsar Nicholas Roman of the Second or Mao Zedong, but a good leader is someone like Kaiser Franz Joseph I. He cared for the citizens within his empire. He made decisions carefully to safeguard his absolute power within his monarchy, which was the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. A bad leader is someone who doesn't care for his people, like Tsar Nicholas II or Mao Zedong. He cared for the family, but he did never he never cared about his country. So who was Kaiser Franz Joseph I? Kaiser Franz Joseph I, also known as Emperor Francis Joseph I, was the last emperor of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire. He was head of the Habsburg family. Francis Joseph I was born in the Schönbrunn Palace in Vienna on the 18th of August in 1830. Sadly, the emperor died in on the 21st of November in 1916. Kaiser Franz Joseph I had a son, Rudolf the Crown Prince of Austria, and three daughters, which were Archduchess Sophie, Archduchess Gisela, and Archduchess Marie Valerie. Kaiser Franz Joseph was the longest reigning emperor in the history of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, and the third longest reigning emperor in European history, right after Louis XIV of France and Johann II of Liechtenstein. Kaiser Franz Joseph's mother was Princess Sophie of Bavaria. The, fa fa the family Franz Joseph and the House of Habsburg. Kaiser Franz Joseph belonged to the Habsburg family, which was the royal family of Austria. At times, about one fourth to almost one half of Europe belonged to the Habsburg family. Even the Emperor of Mexico, Maximilian I, who was the brother of the Emperor, came from the Habsburg family. Kaiser Franz Joseph was married with the Empress Elizabeth, which was widely known as Sissy. Did you know that Maximilian I was killed? Here you can see the complete list of the Habsburg family, starting with Rudolf I of Germany from 1218 to 1291, stretching all the way to Charles VI, Holy Roman Emperor, from 1685 to 1740, and also Joseph I, who was also a Holy Roman Emperor, from 1678 to 1711. This is not the complete tree. This is continued from the tree. So here you can see Charles the Sixth and Joseph the Second, who had the children Marie Josepha and Marie Amelie, Amelia. Charles the Sixth had the ch had a child Marie Theresa, who and Marie Anna, and Charles of Lorraine was married to Marie Anna. This goes all the way and all the way, and here you can see is the Habsburg family emblem. Here you can see. The Lorraine emblem, and here you can see Francis the First, who was Emperor of Austria. Here you can see Ferdinand the First, and this is Francis Joseph of Austria, the new emperor, the, the last Austrian Empire. The uncle of Francis Joseph was Francis Charles, and Maximilian was the Emperor of Mexico, who was the brother of Francis Joseph. Anyways, continuing on. This is a map of the Habsburg Dominions. Here you can see the Bos Bosnia. Here you can see Hungary. Here you can see Old Austria. Here you can see Bohemia. Here you can even see Netherlands. And this is not the complete map because it stretches all the way down to Spain. So the reign of the Austrian Empire. As you can see in the family tree of the Has of Habsburg, the Austrian-Hungarian Empire stretched at time all across Europe, and Central Europe, to the east as well as to the west and south of Europe. And a lot of countries were 
conquered either by war or by marriage. Here is the explanation of the fall of the Austrian Empire. The Austrian had a uh, the Austrian Hungarian people royals had a royal family motto which was Felix Austria Nuber, which meant let others wage war, O oh, lucky Austria Mary. Once the son of Kaiser Franz Joseph was assassinated, World War One broke up. But here's a fun fact. Did you know that World One and World War World War One and World War Two all, all broke out because of Austria? World War One broke out because Crown Prince Rudolf of Austria was assassinated. World War Two broke out because out of Hitler, who was an Austrian person. Kranzatz Rudolf of Austria was actually assassinated in Bosnia. Here is my conclusion. In conclusion, Kaiser Franz Joseph I died. He wasn't. He hasn't been killed. It could mean that he controlled his empire effectively. I hope this presentation contributed to the better understanding of monarchy and imperial rule. Thank you for watching, and I hope this helped you a lot.